Hey, buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Humankind, where we are slowly drowning our entire civilization in pollution, because we didn't realize how powerful the pollution mechanic was. Uh, things are not looking great for us. All of our districts are now coated in pollution, uh, which is not good, because the uh, stability of my city is going down pretty rapidly. But maybe there's a way we can uh, we could survive this. I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's pretty bad. It's 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 pretty damn bad. Um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Stability is still dropping. In fact, it's going down faster. Um, yeah, it's not getting better. I may have to detach. I may have to detach this district because it's just it's just too bad. Jesus. Uh, you know what we might have to do? We might have to come in here. Change our civics, press freedom, and no more revolution, baby. Let's enact propaganda, uh, citizenship, uh, plus five stability on makers' quarters. Let's go all, all authoritarian, baby. I don't know if that's going to fix the problem, but my hope is that that's going to give me a little bit more time uh, to maybe declare a war or something. Yeah, it's bad. My population is completely tanking. Let's grab the hospital. That gives stability at least. And we'll start, I guess, I guess we'll start throwing down the occasional like fortress here uh, to try and get just whatever tiny chunks of stability we can. I may even try to just one turn a fort here and uh, see if I can't make that work for me. One more line infantry. We've got an army stack here that we can take them on. Yep, there's police force. We're gonna work on police force because that's gonna be maybe how we save my capital. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's so much, so much stability. All right, where is this? We'll grab the city watch. We'll pop that in. Negative 1,678 stability. I mean, maybe we can save this. I'm just like jamming forts into like little nooks where you can't really fit, um, can't fit very good uh, districts anyway. Oh, hey, there's uh, sea ice over here. That's kind of neat. I like that. That's really cool. There's glaciers up here. There's sea ice. I'm interested to see um, what they might do uh, long term for the games like world generation and stuff like that. Research Institute. Maybe if I add VN, VN or whatever it's called to the capital, that help my stability. I don't know. 99,000. <laughs> 99,000 influence. I guess that's not happened for a while. Minus 20% of commons quarter industry cost. Is it maybe time to break my capital up into two cities? I don't know. I'll I'll continue to try and save it um, and pray and hope. Let's have a look here. Okay, Let's make a demand of these guys. And now we have war support to maybe declare war. So let's start moving our military over. Um, we probably want more than one stack. So we'll move another stack over here too and we'll get these guys upgraded. All right, what do we got army wise here? We got four line infantry and a dragoon. Let's add a siege bombard to that. One of these howitzers. Uh, I guess we'll add two howitzers and another dragoon. Why not? That might make up a, a reasonable army that we can send against these guys when we're ready to declare. Striving. Oh, hey, we got aluminum over here. Very nice. Or aluminium, rather. Oh, they used, they used the correct spelling. <laughs> yes, finally a 4X game where it's called aluminium. Ah, uh, it's a joyous day for us Europeans. I don't even know if I want to build these polluting buildings anymore. Um... I may just like leave it because I don't know how to deal with that pollution. It's crazy. Maybe I'll just start making more armies like two siege weapons, a few line infantry, a couple dragoons. Oh, here's my unique unit too. Wireless telegraphy. Yes. Trench warfare and guerrilla warfare. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Memphis is just hemorrhaging population right now. Oh, it's, it's back to growing. Weirdly. I think it lost so many people <laughs> that it can grow again. Um, oh, and the stability is is coming up. We've managed to we've managed to bring it up. Very cool. Uh, let's get the police station again. We need to bring the stability up in here. Maybe maybe we weren't in such a crisis. Maybe I just panicked a little bit. All right. How long until I can declare a war? I wish to declare a war. Zero war support. I have more than zero. Ah, surprise war will turn me into a traitor. Now I'm pretty sure I have an alliance with these guys. No, 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 no. The Mycenaeans are the guys I hate. And then these guys. With the Polish, I have an alliance. I will, however, make a demand of you. Yeah, thank you very much. You jerk. He oppressed my people. And that allowed me to take this city over here. Well, haha, <laughs> don't mind if I do, baby. I just got some free land. Oh, I should probably... 
I should probably integrate this city over here too. Yeah, let's yoink that city. Oh, that actually got me an expansion of stars. Taking those two pieces of land. Nice. 60 science from a single district is kind of crazy to me. You just researched guerrilla warfare, which gave me access to warfare scavenging, making all pre-industrial units cheaper, as well as uh, 25 stability on cities under occupation. So I have like a bit of partisan action when I'm being attacked. And I have the evidence bureau agents. Cool, let's finish that Dragoon and let's also work on an airport here. I don't know how they work, but I'm curious to find out. I really want to declare war. My war support is only going down. I, how do I manufacture war against these guys? I guess I guess I can't and I just have to accept that I'm going to do a surprise war. Now their, their war support will go up and really, really quickly, but mine will go down quickly because I declared an unjust war. I'm okay with that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Surrender the Mexicans. The Mycenaeans are allied with your enemy, the Mexicans. Demand. Break your alliance with them. Hell yeah. Break your alliance. Get out of here. All right. Yeah, we are refusing. We will be refusing their demands. The whole world has started to erupt into a late game war now. I'm pretty sure I'm the strongest guy on the map, though. I could pillage this for, like, a little bit of money. Or I could just go straight for the city. I do have I do have the siege equipment to pull that off. Oh, wow. I haven't explored this in a while. Yeah, let's begin the war. Let's go, baby. What do they got? They got, like, a Carrick who's over here in the water, which I don't care about. A bunch of like fairly low tech units. I reckon I'll, 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 um, I'll maintain the siege for a turn while I bring these guys over here into the fold and see if I can get my aircraft thing out. Stability is fine in most of these other cities, although I am losing food, which is uh, maybe inideal. We yeah, have losing food in a lot of places. I think that might actually be down to the fact that I declared war on someone where I, who I was getting a lot of my food off of. Judicial control, so dreaded judgments. This is about living in a democracy to have faith in the judiciary. So, do we have open inspections or state surveillance? Uh, a public body should scrutinize and report on every aspect of the justice system or covert monitoring of key figures is necessary to ensure control. So this is a secret police direction, which gives me stability on my garrisons, or a people's assembly, which gives me plus three stability on districts. Well, listen, as much as I want to go the authoritarian route here, which would give me a lot of vision range and all that sort of jazz, being able to stay collectivist and get this extra three stability per district seems real powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Um, my military is fine. So open besieging. Yeah, we should be able to maintain the siege for another turn and then bring in a reinforcing army. Uh, maintain that. Oh, are you guys part of the battle? Oh, yeah, you are. Well, the battle has actually spilled out massively across multiple cities. Awesome. So trench warfare researched. Awesome. We now have access to the siege artillery. I don't think I can purchase upgrade my units mid battle though. What I can do is maybe instead come into here and work on some basic stuff like sawmills. Mm, maybe not. Build an academy instead. What do you think? Do you think we fight this battle? I think my units are quite a bit stronger. 54 combat strength against their 35, 34. I mean, they have hoplites. I think I can win this battle. Their carracks have a lot of range though, and that's kind of scary. I don't know. Let's let's begin the assault. We'll manually battle this. Now my siege weapons, I want to avoid the coastline if I can. So if I'm going to fight, it's going to be concentrated around this plateau. So these howitzers, I believe, are heavy weapons. And they have a range of eight. So I want to keep them away from the coastline if I can. So I'm going to place both of them over here down the hill. Enemy reinforcements are coming from up here. Maybe I fight. Maybe I just fight uphill here and play it real safe. Put the cavalry on the flanks. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Cavalry on the flanks, bulk of my infantry on the hill. In particular, of importance actually, is that my infantry are in positions where they can retreat from the battle if they need to. Let's end deployment. The battlefield has expanded even more. Let's bring in those reinforcements. Wait, first of all. Ah, they need direct line of sight. That's not ideal. Ah, I thought these guys had indirect fire. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. A lot of these units are melee, though. And my units are particularly good against melee. And I can kill some of them outright with my line infantry. Like, one shot on a few of them. Which is kind of nice. I'm worried about this naval engagement actually coming back to bite me. But I think I will charge up the hill here and see if we can push through the city. We take an elevated position with our artillery. 
Yeah, I'm gonna bombard the city from over here as well, then start deploying my reinforcements, in particular the cavalry along the coastline to fight the ships. I know that sounds like insanity, but it is it is the actual plan, is to try to fight the <laughs> fight the enemy navy with my cavalry. Right, we've got our full army in position. Our strength is overall stronger. Let's let's grab this army and upgrade a lot of these units and uh we'll start moving them in the direction of this front line over here. This battle has the potential to spiral massively out of control, which is awesome. I'm not like, look at how huge this battlefield is. I've got a saboteur over here whose job is to claim these islands. So that was turn one of this battle. Spent a little bit of time. Let's have a look at what the AI does. I'm imagining they're going to bring in their ships to try and take out my coastal units. I think I'm positioned in a way that'll make that difficult. All right, what do they got? What is this? Carrick taking shots at me. Ooh, 21 damage. They actually do a lot. Looks like they're attacking me with some of their units, which will just mean their death. All I need to do is actually get to this and hold it at the end of the third turn of this battle, and I auto win it. I will take some casualties, right? Because these uh, units automatically are able to do like a little bit of damage to your units. Um, so if they attack my units enough, I may lose some. But my units are also just so powerful in comparison to theirs that it's a bit like a, uh, a, a Zulu sort of scenario, right? They, they may kill some of us, but there's so many of them. We've got machine guns, all that sort of things. I don't know if that's like even an appropriate reference, but like, I hope it illustrates what's going on here. Wow, they are going to kill this one guy. They just threw everything at this one guy and took him out. That might actually be worth it for them. Yeah, Jesus, they have just thrown everything at me. I guess that makes sense. If you can't, like... I would have personally tanked as long as I could in there because I actually managed to get this guy out of the fight. He's going to run now, which is what we're going to do. We want to we want to take the city. So getting as many units into the city is like the plan. Now, the nice thing is my Dragoons can one shot their Navy, um, which maybe doesn't make sense <laughs> entirely, but um, that is what's happening. Outside my unit's line of sight. That's unfortunate. I'm going to use my Dragoon to kill this guy. That should open up things a little bit for the rest of my cavalry. Like if I sweep around here to the coast, I can maybe start blasting some of these coastal, uh, 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 these troops that are in um, in transports trying to reinforce the city. I can use my dragoons to sweep around and take them out. Might have been a good idea to ha actually have a navy here, but it didn't actually seem like I needed one, so I didn't bring one. For some reason I can't hit this guy. I wonder what's blocking my line of sight. Well, I guess regardless, let's just start bringing in line infantry um to the city to start hammering this guy and then i can get another unit inside the walls because a unit has to start beside the walls to escalate them and then we'll line up some more troops in um in escalade positions in particular i'll get my artillery all along the coastline ready to blast alongside my cav all right looking good end the round i, I think i think i've basically won this fight now so they're bringing in more ships from their reinforcement point. That's gonna be painful if they can actually shoot. Ouch. Poor little Artie over here is gonna take some damage. Yeah, it looks like their navy isn't actually gonna make that much of a difference because I can just use my artillery now to um, to like completely obliterate most of their smaller ships and then use my heavy artillery to even take out some of their bigger ones. Like, oh my God, this is just decimation right now. You got good ranging attacks across the whole battlefield. Goodbye, horsemen. Let's get this guy onto the um, the flag so we have control. That, in my opinion, is important. And then we'll start getting some more infantry down here onto the um, onto the lower quarter here. See if we can nail a couple of extra kills. I definitely want to damage this man of war. As scary and as strong as it is, like it's a 55 combat strength unit, still probably a good idea to just crack it for a bit of damage. But I, th I think we've just won the battle. They're going to get like a little bit of counter damage on us. But I think that's the city taken. And um, taking the taking a city on the first round of combat, not bad. Or I say first round, but the first turn of a war. Yeah, they're trying their best, but they really just don't have enough damage. So they ended their turn. They lost 23 units. I got a militarist star. I lost no units. I just lost unit strength. Um, I got a ton of experience for that. They lost massive amounts. Massive amounts. Oh, we got an osmosis event. Okay, neat. What's this? Uh, idea gives you a bonus. Huh? Free science, I'll take it. Okay, another osmosis event. Cool. Free science, I'll take it. So we've taken the city of Athenai. That will 
cut their war support heavily. But we're nowhere near, we're nowhere near ready to throw the towel in. We like, we must press on here. In fact, rest is going to be far and few between. We're going to be using a lot of our gold to heal up some of our weakest units. Uh, the elimination of necessity, long range communication is both magical. So we just got wireless tech telegra telegraphy, which made Hamlet cheaper and gives us extra influence on our commons quarters. All very good things. Now, I believe one of the ways to win the game is if I get all of the era stars, right? I think I think that's one of the ways to win. So I think next stop is Harappa. But I don't want to go by the coast. So I'm going to stop off here. Oh, that should be my full army, not just one section of it. I'll stop off here. I'll spend the money to heal this guy up and this guy up. And then I'll move my army in this direction. Boom. Looks like we got an osmosis event. 15 signs. Cool. Not that I can really do in Ath Athenai because it's like under mutiny. Let's get this army moving. And we're also going to upgrade these howitzers to siege artillery once we get that oil online. I know I had some oil somewhere. Yeah, over in here, Horanica. Let's pop that oil down and that'll be ready next turn. So once I have two oil, I'll be able to get siege artillery, which is kind of neat. Let's stop off in a cad and pick up an extra uh, heavy machine gun maybe or something here. Oh, actually, we never bought the stuff that makes units cheaper here. So let's just move on to Thebes. We got our airport. Can I try a biplane? All right, let's see how they work. Haven't used biplanes before. We can get aerial warfare, which gives us access to aluminium. Um, and also airports. Airports add pollution. They lower stability. They give you money per adjacent market quarter. And they also give you the monoplane fighter, as well as the strat bomber. Okay, interesting. Let's go for aerial warfare. I'm curious. My war support against the poles is 24. What? But we're not in a war. We're all allied. So that makes no sense. I will just accept that for what it is. Did I get an osmosis event? Nice. Science. Science. I like the osmosis event stuff. That's really, really cool. Let's follow this road along. We'd like to begin the siege of the next city. Harappa is quite a while away. So we'll get a first siege artillery, then we'll wait a turn so we can get another. You're definitely building an outpost. Got another group of infantry moving on up to Athenai. Capital still losing population extremely rapidly, which is not a vibe. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, let's try to just maximize our science gain in here and pray that I can science my way out of my problems. It's like the, the, the IRL plan, I hope, because we actually did manage to get the stability under control. Although I probably should get the people's assembly first, because that's worth plus three stability per district, which is pretty damn powerful. Regular airport. Serve commercial interests. The aerodrome. Ah, uh, for city private air support. Provides air trade routes. Interesting. So that might make it easier to actually trade resources between players once you have air, 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 air airports. Uh, I could look up the research institute here and that is an achievement giving me 100 fame. So I'll take that. Nice. We got another builder star. So we're up to three builder stars already. I just need to do all of these other things. Let's follow the road and see what like <laughs> what horrifying things await us in the city of Harappa. The enemy has what looks like a couple of musketeers and a few reinforcing city militia. So I think we begin the assault. Yes, we have a very small sort of frontage here, but if we position our artillery in the correct locations, ideally up here on these two tiles, maybe. Now, where is their flag? Their flag will be here. So I want at least my cavalry to be getting ready to move that way. Now I'll have three of my infantry ready to push right through here. So let's end deployment. Let's crack this wall right open. Boom. We'll move our siege artillery up here, or our howitzers rather, and we'll begin getting our cavalry up here to attack from the north side as well, because we can we can basically pull a flanking attack on the entire city to attack these draftees. I was hoping I could actually get that kill in a single turn so I could enter the city, but that did not work out. My units should be strong enough for me to hold this round, so I'll end the turn. They should be pretty aggressive. Yeah, take a little chunks of damage from their ranged units. Oh man, they're just throwing their draftees at me. Really, um, I feel like the AI should be smart enough to know that their draftees aren't strong enough to engage. Uh, but they might have like an... You'd be like, oh, we just need to get some damage in. But yeah, it would be cooler if they actually try to use them as like holding a line rather than just kind of like throwing them into a meat grinder. I feel like that would be a little bit more interesting. Man, this poor cavalry over here is taking the brunt of all these attacks. He is losing health rapidly from just the constant meat grinder of enemy troops pushing at him. Yeah, that's him dead now, I think. Yeah, mutually assured destruction on him. Well, I lost my first unit of the war, the Dragoon. But on the plus side, it is my turn. And I will be blasting. Ideally, I actually want to blast these walls down. 
Because if I completely obliterate that wall, I can enter into the city pretty aggressively here and maybe get their flag this turn, which I can absolutely pull off, which is awesome. And then get this kill too. I think that's just the whole, the whole battle done. Yeah, all enemy troops are dead. I win. Nice. I lost a single unit and I got the next militarist star. I need to kill 15 more units and there's two more cities to take. Their war support is tanking, tanking and tanking and tanking. I'll probably vassalize them. We have a biplane, air patrol. Provides vision over their territory and adjacent territories will also attempt to intercept enemy air units that try to perform airstrikes against these territories. They can do airstrikes, they can disband, they can be upgraded to monoplane fighters who could also strike ground targets. So these are kind of just basic guys. So if I went in to Hagmatana and prioritized aluminum rather than building an army, get that aluminium online. And yes, I am switching between the two to trigger as many people as possible. Did you notice? Now moving in with these siege artillery and this line infantry and stuff. Awesome. Nice. We got the research institute, which has giving us some new answers. A scientist star, all sorts of awesome, cool beans, amphibious warfare. So the research institute le leads to uranium enrichment. All right. Which also leads to nuclear fission and nuclear doctrine, and then eventually fusion reactors. Oh, wow. Increased industry and re reduced pollution. Ah, so maybe that's what it looks like. So we can reduce our pollution with uh, fusion power. Oh man, do we just, we, I think we just beeline nuclear power. We grab ourselves uranium, we grab nuclear fission. We start building these nuclear bombs. Ooh, there we go. Nuclear plants, minus 30% pollution on maker's quarters, plus two industry per nuke. We also get the nuclear submarine. All right, cool. Mohenjo Daro, what do we do with you, baby? Um, man, I gotta, I gotta go all the way around to Mohenjo-Daro? What is this bullshit? Uh, no, I'm going to Kerma first. Hell no. Oh wait, no, I can attack it from here. Ah, yes. We will begin the battle for this city. We'll start bringing up the rear with these heavy infantry and, uh, siege artilleries and stuff. Some of these guys aren't fit to fight the battle, but that's okay. Our dreams will live on as memes in our heart. The fate of veterans. So I can get patriotic in my cities for cheaper units. I can become more communal or I can get to find. I think I'll just pay the money and become more communal. That's fine. Uranium enrichment researched. Now, I think there might be some deeds left that I could do. Um, train spotter. Stretch your culture through a continent. I thought I mapped the whole continent. Well, I guess there only is one continent in this game, right? So some of these deeds maybe don't, don't matter so much. All right, let's be begin the sur siege of Kerma. Are you guys part of a battle or can you just not attack? I want you to attack your own. I want you guys to attack. Go. Ah, because this counts as a reinforcement position. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's assault. We'll manually battle this. I got one support regiment. Ooh. Oh, this is part of the... Um... Oh, shoot. This is actually one of the really, really cool parts of the game. Um, yeah. You're, um... Some of, some of your units can be off-map artillery. And because I have the siege artillery sort of nearby, but not actually in the reinforcement, they act as support. Oh, that is so cool. Um, that is awesome. It's very, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Man, war is the, the war system in this game is very, it's a lot. There's a lot going on with the war. So I'm going to position my artillery overlooking the fortress. And then I'll have my infantry sort of pushing into the city. So let's begin the battle. These things I think don't need direct line of sight. I could be wrong. But now my question is, if I open this battle, I go to my support. Can't be done without enough movement points. I thought these guys had nearly full, full moves, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to break these walls and these draftees, so let's blast them. We'll bring the cavalry up here to finish these off, and then we can actually push through into the city with our line infantry. And once we're in the city, we can kill these draftees in one shot. Like, it's fairly trivial, and we just need to get over here with our units. And that's taken care of, so let's start blasting some more. Not much else we can do this turn. However, we can start sending some of our units around to maybe try to do something on this side of the battlefield if they try to get these reinforcements in. A lot of their turn will just be counterattacking. Also, science osmosis event, you can interact during a battle to do things. It's really cool. One thing I wish is that there was like an animation speed slider for the AI's turn. There may be an option for it. Battle animation speed, there we go. I'll put it up to 3x for now. So there you go. Pro tip, didn't know that was there. It might be a new addition. Oh yeah, we, uh, we're blasting them. No safe harbor for these halberdiers. 
you make your way over there invade the city now the unfortunate thing is we only have one tile that we can actually make it into the city through but that's not the end of the world all right we'll end the round this i expect this guy to go try and stop him and kill it get himself killed oh no they just let, let let it be my turn all right boom we'll blast him so he's no longer fortified take him out that should win us the fight we don't even need to capture their flag boom easy We've taken another city. Their entire civilization is almost completely occupied. Their war support is tanking. I just need one more city. And honestly, this looks like an auto-resolve. Boom. Didn't even leave, lose a unit. Got the militarist gold star. Enemy completely occupied. Not a single unit or city remains unoccupied. I should be able to very, very quickly enforce, enforce my demands. Um, yeah, but we've occupied another quarter of the world, another quadrant. I'm going to call that the end of the episode, though. We have gone for the Swedish late game victory. Never mind science. I uh, had through domination. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.